Hey guys, welcome back. I have recently started a new playlist related to 5G PUCCH. So uh, under this, this is the second video and in this video, I mainly want to talk about uh, PUCCH format 1, um, uh, how the data and DMRS can be generated, basically the signal of flow for this PUCCH format 1 and uh, once these are generated, how this data and DMRS can be mapped onto OFDM grid uh, that we will see, especially in case of uh, two scenarios. One is uh, frequency hopping enabled and disabled case. Okay, so I hope you would appreciate. So first, I will start with the specification uh, to talk about uh, uh, how the signal processing flow uh, continues for PUCCH format one. So this is the spec and I've taken release 15 and uh, uh, you can see the PUCCH format one the sequence modulation. The thing is that PUCCH format one um, occupies one PRB, which means uh, uh, 12 uh, uh, REs okay, in the frequency domain and uh, a maximum uh, two bits, which means less than or equal to two bits of uh, uh, UCI information. So if as per this, you can see that if it is just one bit, QPSK is done. If it is two bits, QPSK, sorry, QPSK is done. So so the bits, um, the bits could be like, oh, we had many combinations, right? Uh, so the combinations could be something like this. So these bits would be finally converted into a complex value symbol that is a D of zero. So D of zero will be a complex number of the form A plus JB. Once we generate this, then this would be multiplied with the sequence okay i will not get into the sequence generation but you can um, as of now uh, think that this sequence is generated and and uh, this sequence length is given by number of subcarriers in rv so this can be read as uh, number of subcarriers in rv so this is actually 12 uh, which means uh, n varies from 0 to 11 uh, so your uh, um, sequence will be something like this y of 0 it will go up to y of 11 uh, so d of 0 so this this is constant across all these uh, subcarriers d of 0 so then this r uh, r i will just write r okay r u v of 0 then r u v of 11 so i think uh, th this one we have just generated so how to generate this R U V of uh, n uh, is given in the class this one um, this one so i'm not going through the details of that um, and also for now we can to simplify the uh, understanding of this uh, um, generation i would say that uh, i would like to consider this w of m is just equal to one this is an orthogonal sequence okay um, so if you consider that as one then uh, y of n we have uh, so first uh, uh, I will consider there is no frequency hopping which means m dash is equal to 0 so which means this entire term goes to 0 then I have only this much okay so if m dash is equal to 0 uh, then uh, we can map these indices especially if we want to know about this then we have got a table over here that is number of uses symbol and the corresponding uh, value of this Mm, so I will consider for now uh, the 14 symbols okay or if I consider that no frequency so m dash is equal to 7 now consider uh, this this value will be uh, 7 7 minus 1 6 so you can substitute here and you can get see this is independent of uh, uh, m so what you will get is you will get this 12 sequence okay we had already got y of 0 to y of 11 for uh, um, you know m is equal to 0 we will get it and then m is equal to 1 we will get the same thing like that for m is equal to 6 also we will get the same thing so i hope you got this clarity maybe you can also write it down and work out to see these indices then you will get to know that for m is equal to 0 we will get the same sequence here also y of 0 to y of 11 same sequence uh, and and also at m is equal to 6 so with this now we will try to see how these things will be mapped onto the ofdm grid okay so before that i want to also finish as i was telling i, I also want to finish about uh, uh, the DMRS generation, right? Um, so DMRS generation is pretty much simple. Um, so I, I am not exactly going to that uh, part of the spec, but since I already know, what I would say is uh, DMRS generation. 
DMRS generation will be given by let's say I, I will consider D of n and that is uh, given by this just r u comma v uh, of n okay there is there is no d of zero top okay here to in order to avoid confusion dp i will say uh, dmrs uh, pilot so there is no here there is no d of zero term so this will serve as the dmrs generation so having understood this uh, uh, let me get into the uh, ofdm grid and let me explain you how actually uh, how actually the mapping of the data and dmrs happens so again those details are already given in the spec but right now i had not gone uh, through those details uh, but i am i will be directly explaining how this data and dmrs would be mapped onto ofdm grid so this is the ofdm grid and we have got the 14 symbols as you can see first one i will take it as uh, this, this I will take it as R is okay because right now uh, the length of the sequence is just 12 uh, 1 PRV so that's what I will take in the in the first uh, uh, diagram so if I take like this and we know that we have already generated uh, this y of 0 till y of uh, 11 okay so y of 0 will occupy in the first subcarrier and y of 11 will occupy in the 12th subcarrier so that's what I will be going to do uh, so the thing is that as per the mapping uh, as per the mapping uh, strategy given in the specification the data should occupy will occupy all these things okay so then data will keep occupying on alternate symbols and I have taken 14 symbols uh, so it will occupy like this so now what about in the first symbol second fourth symbol and all so i already i also spoke about the dmrs so in these locations we will get uh, dmrs okay so dmrs will be occupied something like this so then i think you got the clarity like if you are transmitting uh, you know qcch format one and then in one of the PRBs in your entire OFDM grid, you will see that the format one will have the allocation something like this, uh, DMRS data, then DMRS data and, and things like this. So in, in this uh, Y of 0 would be there, then Y of 1, then, then in this Y of 11 would be transmitted. And the same thing is also present on all these 9, 7th, 5th, 3rd and this symbol and DMRS also uh, on a similar line so it will occupy the similar kind of information ok so this mapping you got it uh, um, so this is the case ok this is a general mapping which I had shown now what I will do I will get into the concept of uh, frequency hopping disabled case and frequency hopping enabled case so in this particular second OFDM, um, in this particular block, I will take there are 12 PRBs and each each of these block, okay, each of these block constitute one PRB. So then how can I write my equation? Let's say for example the fourth PRB is occupying QCCH format one. So this is this is fourth PRB uh, is uh, is occupying format one. And if it occupies, this is how the um, allocation look like. Okay, so this is since I've taken the y-axis in in terms of PRB. So here we will have all the twelve subcarriers. Okay, here we will have all the top twelve subcarriers. Now this is the case when frequency hopping is disabled. Now we will consider the case when frequency hopping is enabled. So when frequency hopping is enabled. Uh, uh, when frequency hopping is enabled, uh, we need two terms. Okay, so the first term is um, uh, start PRB, uh, and the second term is second uh, hop hop PRB. I would say so. This is start PRB and hop PRB, and uh, how will be the uh, you know frequency hopping condition? Uh, I, 
I was we, I was showing you the particular table, right? Uh, so here um, the 50% of the symbols will occupy in the start PRB, 50% of the symbols will occupy in the second of PRB. So in this case, um, let's say the start PRB is uh, uh, start PRB is two, and whereas uh, the second of PRB is ten. So then how would the data and DMRS allocation will happen. So, so for what I will do, I will just try to delete the um, delete the other one. So this is how it looks like, and then um, and then frequency opting is I have taken tenth one. So on the tenth PRP. Uh, so your data allocation would would be seen like this. So this is the frequency. Just I have taken just 12 PRBs, but we will have um, how many PRBs? We have 273 PRBs for 100 megahertz. So start PRB can be two, and uh, your uh, second of PRB can be uh, 270 or 265 like that. So here I want to talk about one particular bonus concept. Uh, that is, there could be multiple UVs, right? So there could be multiple UVs, uh, and multiple UVs would uh, go for uh, um, would go for uh, frequency opting. So let us say that uh, there is another UV. Uh, so another UV's start PRB is um, another UV's start PRB could be seven, and uh, the Second of uh, uh, PRB could be four. Okay, so then it would look like this. But in some cases, uh, what can be also achieved is um, for a second UV, the start PRB could be ten, and the second of uh, PRB could be let's say four. Okay. So this kind of combination is also possible. Now you will see that okay, this is for UV1, um, and from this onwards, okay, after this center point onwards, this is for UV1. Whereas this is for UV2, and this is for UV2. Okay. So if if there is, if there is some DTX problem or if some issues with the PCSH format one, then if you see the allocations of this uh, uh, mapping, then you would get confused that. Um, you would get confused because uh, here start PRB is 2 comma then second of PRB is 10 whereas for the second UV this uh, the start PRB is 10 and the second of PRB is 4 okay so you will you, you, you would think that hey this uh, there is a overlap in, uh, overlap in the uh, PRBs okay but even though uh, they are uh, belong to different groups you might think that there might there would be overlap, but actually they are not overlapping, as you can see in this uh, particular uh, RE mapping uh, case. So the overlapping should not happen in case of um, start PRBs. If in this case, since the start PRBs are different and second of PRBs are different, there is no overlap case here. Uh, okay, so there there can be overlapping case that uh, that is possible but i will tell that concept in the upcoming uh, videos uh, but uh, in that case i will just uh, give a uh, give a highlights about that in that case we should have uh, something called a cyclic shift the cyclic shift value should be different okay so that uh, even though they are occupying on the same uh, frequency resources um, they are orthogonal uh, with respect to cyclic shift or they should have a different uh, that w w of f which is orthogonal uh, sequence OCC that should be different then they can occupy at the same frequency resource on this I will talk more about that in the upcoming videos but for now I think you got this bonus concept uh, do not get confused with uh, um, the overlapping uh, sequences uh, um, in case of frequency hopping uh, enabled okay so then I want to talk about one last concept based on the, the uh, based on the concept that I was talking in the previous video. 
so this is uh, uh, this is the uh, i mean this is related to this concept is related to first video in this particular uh, series okay first video uh, in the particular series so the video is that in that video i am mainly talking about uh, the transmission of acnac and sr uh, in qsh format one okay but uh, there i was mentioning uh, four combinations as you can see here uh, so those four combinations like in the first two combinations we had no sr and in the last two combinations we had sr and as well as acnac okay but there is one more combination which i have missed that is fifth combination sr only case sr only and no acnac so in this case how is it transmitted in this case since there is no acnac sr only sr will be considered as one bit and and this will be usually taken as zero uh, so one bit uh, zero means this will be um, performed the bpsk modulation and uh, in the bpsk modulation zero means uh, this point would be chosen and uh, and since there is only sr this will be transmitted in the sr resource okay sr resource is either 1 2 or 3 right so th these things uh, uh, i had considered these things as sr resource so so in any of those prbs uh, this sr only resource would be transmitted with uh, zero as the bit information so i think uh, the last uh, part also you got it um so all the concepts uh, related to format one i will try to bring in uh, in the upcoming videos then we will see about the other formats uh, uh, and and finally i will try to bring in some more tricky concepts uh, i hope you got the clarity please do subscribe to the channel um and uh, have a great day bye bye